We're here at the National Motor Racing Museum at Bathurst and motorcycles are a huge feature of the museum's collection. The Honda NSR 500 is worth a quarter of a million pounds and has a top speed of 190 miles an hour. One of the most significant motorcycles that we have is this bike here. This is the Honda NSR 500 that Wayne Gardner rode to the 1987 500cc World Championship title. But the thing about this bike, it's not a production bike at all. This thing is a prototype. So when you look at most of the motorbikes in here, they are production based. They, they started life as a showroom, they were modified for racing, they were hotted up. So they're the V8 supercars of the, of the motorcycle world. This is a Formula One car. It is absolutely hand built. The components on this thing are not production components. Every single item is built by hand for maximum performance. These are an incredible piece of equipment. Powerful, lightweight and absolutely frightening to ride. The two-stroke motorcycles in this era were an absolute animal. The bike handling skills of the riders was amazing. And it was guys like Wayne Gardner who grew up on dirt bikes that were able to tame these things and, uh, and extract the maximum performance out of the bike. It's a four-cylinder, two-stroke engine, 494 cc's, about 160 horsepower, liquid-cooled, so pretty extreme engineering for 1987. In the hands of the correct rider, and a rider that was able to deal with a bike like this, this would be uh, still at 35 years old or thereabouts, it would still keep up with most of your modern bikes that you see on the showroom floor. Wayne Gardner is a very, very important figure in the history of Australian motorcycle racing. Starting off racing dirt bikes around Wollongong um, as a kid. In the 1980s, he took, the, uh, took his Australian uh, experience overseas. He followed the dream to Europe. He uh, made his way to the factory teams and captured the 500cc world title in 1987. For all of the achievements of people like Mick Doohan, Casey Stoner and those that followed Wayne Gardner uh, were very impressive, but Gardner opened a lot of doors. So for the people in Europe, they'd seen what Australian riders were capable of with Gardner and that was enabled other Australian riders to follow onto that world stage and have the great successes that they have. And it was all due to uh, Gardner's pioneering efforts.